Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the mobile slide rotate animation inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like as a finished product. All right, so you got an animated logo coming in, you got the video attached to the iPhone, and it slowly moves up screen. All right, so it's really cool. So there's the animation of the logo happening. The video is attached to the iPhone, and we've got it moving from top, or from bottom to top, I should say. All right, so let's go ahead and start from scratch here. So the first thing I wanna do is I need to create my background. Now I can do this two ways. I can either go to my canvas color over here, you know, choose something in the color wheel and then find the hue I want. Or what I can do is I can create a shape and then use this as my background, right? It gives me a little bit more flexibility um, while I'm working. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm gonna rename this first and let's call this background. And then I need to re uh, size this to be the size of my canvas because right now it's it's smaller than my canvas size So in the left corner when you click on your shape, you'll see an expand tool go ahead and click that and It'll expand it out to make it the shape of your canvas All right now what I want to do is I want to match this color to the color of the original purple So you may not be doing this you may not be matching maybe just choosing a color which is fine, too But I want to be this exact thing so I'm gonna match it to this purple so I'm gonna leave my cursor right over this guy with my new background and shape slash shape that I just created, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to settings and go to color. And then I'm gonna click on the eyedrop tool. Then I'm gonna select anywhere in the purple. And once I do that, it color matches to that exact color. And if I come over to my background now, you'll see that this purple is the match of the original purple. So pretty quick way to do that. Um, so my next step now, let's move this track. That's pretty good right there. Is to bring in some assets, all right? So I wanna go ahead and go to my media and I've got all three assets ready to go and I'm gonna drag in my iPhone frame right onto my canvas there, all right? So I've got this lined up, my frame is ready to go. My next step is to create a screen that is gonna be the filler for where my video clips and logos go, okay? So the first thing I need to do is go to shape and then click on a square because the square is gonna be the more easier shape to, to fit out to fit the frame of the iPhone, all right? So I can drag these corners to resize it to fit into the size of this iPhone frame. Or if you hold shift and drag the corners, you can kind of resize both the top and the bottom at the same time, which is pretty good. It's, it's fast and efficient, makes it a lot easier. And then of course, drag the middle bottom to drag it down and the top middle square to drag up. All right, so now if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that I still got some corners punched out here. And in order to fix this, there are these circles below the square icons and if I hover over it, it turns into a crosshair. Now, if I left click and hold and drag towards the center of the shape, you'll see it starts to round out my corners, which is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna, you don't wanna go too far. You don't wanna see the background in the frame behind it. You just wanna go into the black a little bit um, because this is gonna get uh, masked to the frame of the iPhone here in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the bottom and make sure we're good here. And as you can see, I still need to come down a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring that down just a little bit. All right, cool. So we're in a good spot. We've got a shape built out into the size of our iPhone here. And the next thing I wanna do is let's rename this square that we just created and let's call this screen, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click my screen and then click group. All right, so once I created a group of that uh, shape, I need to go over here to the right under my settings and click on mask to mask it to the iPhone screen itself. All right, so now if I double click inside the group, uh, you'll see that the shape is in there and this is anything I drag into this group will be what is shown on the iPhone screen, which is pretty cool. Now I don't need this shape anymore. I just needed it to create the box that fit the iPhone. So now we got that. And this is kind of like our guide zone for, for our shots. All right, so let's go into my media and let's drag in some footage. All right, so let's drag in the video clip first right into my group. And you can see that she's centered up nicely. I can move and reframe as I need to. I've got a lot of um, video footage on both sides. So maybe you had something happening over here, you could reframe and utilize that. But we're gonna keep her center. Just make sure your top and bottoms are not uh, too low or too high. You've got them perfectly lined up. Otherwise it'll kind of mess up your sequence. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's get a little more centered. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my logo. So I'm gonna drag that right onto my video clip there. And we need to resize the logo because it's a little large. So if I come over here with my logo selected, I'm gonna come over here to my scale under settings. And you can use a slider bar or you can manually type it in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and manually type in, let's go like 8%. All right, now let's drag it up because it's covering her face and let's kind of get it right above her head there. And that looks pretty good. 
All right, the other thing to note is that when you drag in clips into your group, make sure they start at the zero line. Like right now, my, I have this little gap. Um, and so if I played back this full sequence, there'd be nothing happening until, you know, a little bit longer, right? So let, make sure you select everything in there, move it to the left so that it starts at zero. All right, so now we're all starting at the same time. We're on the right track. All right, the next thing I need to do is I want to animate the logo so it scales in like it did in the original clip. All right, so I'm going to select my logo. Then I'm going to come over here to motion and I'm going to click on scale and I'm going to click up. All right. So now you can see when I scroll through it, it scales up just like it does in the original sequence. So we're on the right track. We're doing the right things. Now let's go ahead and go back to the main timeline. So if I play this back as is, there it is, a video clip and the logo and we're good. Except uh, we masked the group cr properly, right? So it's masked right there, but you still see it's still hovering over the top of the iPhone. What we need to do is we need to drag the iPhone and make it on top of the group. So just drag it on top and there we go. And now you can see where we may need to make some adjustments to our edges of our group here because there's still some sticking out. So that, that's not a, a, uh, a masking issue. That is just, we didn't scale in the, uh, the rounded edges enough. So all we do is click on the group and then go to your corner of the rounded edge and just drag it in a little more. That's all. So this looks pretty good. And let's go down here to make sure we're good here. And I think we're good on this side. All right. So we're pretty good um, with all that, everything. We got our group built. We've got our uh, video clips and everything is masked to the iPhone itself. So if I play this back, you'll see that the animation of the logo comes in, the video clip plays, and then it looks pretty good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I need to make some animations. I need to animate the position and the rotation of the iPhone itself to make it come in from the bottom and to kind of rotate up to the top. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and group the iPhone and the group itself, right? So I'm going to right click this together. In order to do that, I just made a box. So left click and drag around both tracks. And you know what, let's, um, let's name this, let's call this iPhone just so we are organized too. All right, so I'm gonna create a group make a box around those two. Uh, then you can right click and then hit group. All right, I didn't make a mask on this group, I just grouped it. Um, so everything inside of here, I can animate it one time. It makes it easier to manipulate. All right, so now what I can do is I need to scale this size of the iPhone to make it larger. Right now it's a little too small. So if I select my group, come over to properties, I can then scale it up to make it larger, right? So I can use the slider bar and go up this way or I can physically type in, let's go, let's make it like 312. All right, so that's the size. I'm gonna have it about 312. And then now I can right click my group and then I'm going to click add animation, right? And I'm gonna hold shift and select position and rotation, all right? So I'm adding a set of keyframes that are gonna affect the position and the rotation all within the same time, right? Which is awesome. All right, I'm also gonna adjust the easing on this um, and choose linear. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first keyframe, right? And you know, you selected it because it turns blue and I'm going to drag the starting point of my iPhone to be about right here. Okay. Something about right here is pretty good. All right. And then I'm going to go into my properties and I'm going to adjust the 3d rotation X and the 3d rotation of the Y. All right. So let's go ahead and you can adjust this by using the slider or left clicking on the degree there and moving to the left or right, but I'm gonna manually punch in and let's make it minus 60, okay? And let's make the Y uh, 24, okay? So this is the starting point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the end point and I'm gonna click on properties and I'm gonna adjust the 3D rotation X and Y for the end keyframe here. And let's go ahead and make this 24 and then we're gonna make the 3D rotation Y, uh, actually, sorry, minus 24. And then we're gonna make this one uh, minus 48. All right. So I'm gonna expand these out a little bit so we can see what's going on and then move this to the side right here. All right, so I can see that already my iPhone is starting a little lower than I want. So in order for me to adjust that, what I can do is I can select it, make sure it's blue when you select it, and I can move it up a little bit first. So I can say I want to start it about right here. All right. So now when I play it back, there it goes. It's doing what it's supposed to do. 
She goes in and there is my animation sequence up. All right, so that is how you create the mobile slide rotate effect in Create Studio from scratch. Again, it's not complicated, just click on your background, um, get the assets you need with the iPhone, make sure you mask properly, and then you'll be able to create a nice, smooth mobile slide rotate animation within Create Studio Pro all on your own. All right, so hopefully you got some quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what you create, and I'll catch y'all on the next tutorial.